Hey everybody, in this video I am going to show you how to use Ask Emma, that usually useless USCIS virtual assistant, to set up an appointment with a live chat officer. This will help you skip the USCIS helpline wait list or just simply be another way that you can go around these useless USCIS automated systems on the phone. Why do I do this? Here's my theory. When USCIS cut out all of the different avenues that we had as advocates and applicants to easily liaison with officers, make info pass appointments so that we could go in and get things that are annoying but need to be done done, they really said, we don't care about you. And so therefore, I'm going to show you all these different ways that you can contact and pester USCIS so that you can get done what you need to get done because we don't have all the time in the world. And in fact, we might just have a few years until the return of uh, an administration that is not nearly as uh, friendly and uh, amenable to actually reforming USCIS. But until that reform happens, you gotta do what you gotta do. So if you wanna see how to use Ask Emma to set up an appointment, I'll see you after the break. All right, guys, step one into using Ask Emma is to Google Ask Emma, as you see here on the screen. Now, what we want to do is not go to the first uh, uh, result. We want to go to the second. If you go to the first result, what happens? It tells you somewhat unhelpfully what Emma is uh, without providing a link to actually use her, which is ridiculous. Um, but uh, there is this one up here uh, that you can use to, to get to her indirectly. In any case, why don't we just go to Ask Emma? Okay, uh, there's a test with mobile responsive site. I'm gonna tell you right now, don't use that. Um, you think you see buttons here to make th make an appointment? Well, if you go to a test with a mobile responsive site, it's kind of hilarious. Uh, that link now works, like you can click on it, but it actually doesn't do anything. So don't get stuck in the trap of trying to use Emma uh, in a logical way <laughs> by using the buttons that are provided by USCIS because most of the site is still actually useless. Okay, instead what we want to do is go to this uh, ask a question bot up here in the top right. Uh, this is what Emma's supposed to look like. It's an amalgam of, of different people. She's racially ambiguous. And uh, this screen will pop out. Okay, now I'm, I'm gonna make it bigger so you can see it on your cell phone. It should pop up like this. So it, it has some things on how to chat with Emma. I'm just gonna get right to it. Here's how you get to a live chat officer, okay? We are going to type in info pass appointment. Okay, they're gonna come back with three options. We're going to select the middle one, make an info pass appointment. Now it's going to ask me um, a reason for my appointment. Now what's interesting is that sometimes it asks this uh, and sometimes it doesn't. I've actually gotten to the point where I've exhausted her enough uh, with different requests where eventually she will just give me an appointment. But for now, you can just say um, lost green card or something similar. Um, it's very buggy. Processing, it's processing, it's processing, okay? Um, I'm gonna say, it's gonna ask, are you currently in the US? I'm gonna say yes, okay? Have you turned 14? Yes. So we are going to delete this. Uh, info pass appointment. Make an info pass appointment. Yes. Aha, uh -huh. and see, that's the odd thing. So that's the hack. When you delete the first time and you go back and you make the very same set of requests, it does get to this zip code window. Okay, all right, so it should work. I've been messing with this for a few uh, hours. 06437, all right, and there it is. It'll connect me to a live chat. All right, so if you've been paying attention, here's the hack. The first time you're gonna go through, okay, you're gonna put info pass appointment. It's going to ask you for a reason. In my experience, you can put any reason down that you want, and what it will usually do is kick you to one of its automated answers. You then need to come back and click this little trash can button here and do the exact same thing. Say the exact same thing, and this time, like magic, instead of asking you for a reason, it will ask you if you're in the United States, 
provide you with a zip code and give you a live chat feature. So as you see, this is just a kink in the system. Why does it work this way? Is it anywhere in the directions? I don't know why, why it works this way. It's not like this in the directions, but hopefully it will help you get through to a live chat operator like it helped me. And let's just see uh, what it does here. Okay, um, so I don't have a receipt number. All right, and now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just like gonna turn it off. So it's not scary. So I had to kind of get out of there. I, I didn't want to talk to the live chat operator about nothing, but I just wanted to show you how it works. So you can see right there at the end that if you do have a receipt number, you can talk to the live chat operator directly about that. So that's a roundabout way of doing it. Why does it work this way? I don't know. Is it in a manual? It's not. So hopefully you found it helpful. That's your USCIS hack for the day. If you really like this, if you, if you really found this helpful, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification button and share it. Share it in social media. If you're on Facebook groups and such, do that for me. Okay. Uh, because nobody else showed you this, did they? Okay. Have a great rest of your day. This has been Law Great, where I give you reliable information to help you make better decisions and avoid costly mistakes on your immigration journey.